O saka pagtuo. O saka tingog. O saka katawan. Sabu Catholic Television Network. Network. Gikan sa New Center sa Cebu Catholic Television Network. CCTN 47. Ani na ang mga nagunang balita sa alas 12. Tulungan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Dulan o sa kagatos ka mga baboy sa lungsod sa Dumanog, nasakmit Mayor Hika na Sagmuyo. 130 ka mga panimay na ugdaw human sa dakong sunog sa dakbayan sa Subo. Mayong Udto sa nga ni Dennis Tabar, ako si Gia Navarro. Kauban sa inyo sa puwersa sa CCTN News Team, kami mo atong ganinyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. O garon sa kompletong detalye sa itong mga balita, nasagmuyo si Dumanhog Mayor Gungun Hika. Umanasakmit sa mga otoridad sa milabayang gabi ang mga baboy sa ilang lungsod na igong gipalusot o walay dokumento. Mabot kini sa dulan o sa kagatos ka mga binuhim baboy gikan sa Negros Island ang nakuha sa mga otoridad diin naabtanggi karga sa karaang baroto. Nanusag amang operasyon, humanggi umol ni Gobernador Gwendolyn Garcia ang Task Force Interagency Against Port Smuggling na gilangkuban sa mga sakop sa kapulisan, airport o seaport authorities, ingon man mga local officials o Department of Agriculture 7 sa pagkasakmit o taliwa sa kalagot paligono ni Mayor Hika ang pagpakigbatok sa iligal na pagpalusot sa mga binuying baboy sa ilang lungsod o sa lalawigan sa Subo. May numdumang gilos sa Degarcia among task force sa diyang nakadawat o sumbong na gitugutan sa kapulis gikan sa dumanhog ang pagpasulod sa mga baboy gikan sa Negros Island. Narilibuhan ni noon ang mga police official subay sa nimong mando gikan sa kapulisan. Gibantayan sa National Bureau of Investigation 7 ang giingong pogo operations sa upat ka mga lugar sa Subo. Sumapa ni NBI 7 Director Attorney Renan Augustus Oliva nga ilang gisusi ang mga nadawat nga sumbong bahin sa padayong operasyon sa illegal nga pugo. Giyang ko niya nga lisod among pagpakisusi bahin sa mga matang sa negosyo doon kay nabutang man sa mga taguong lugar. Kini ang nimong lakang sa NBI 7. Mumangirumbo sa mga otoridad ang managlahing pogo operation sa sumbo ng Tuiga. Mabot na sa 17 ka mga tao ang gipangkasuhan gikan sa Pogo Hub sa Lapu-Lapu City. Samtang girespondihan sa mga kapulisan ang giingong susamang negosyo gikan sa Saka Resort sa Lungsod sa Mualbual. Gipanguluhan sa mga miyembro sa Philippine Coast Guard 7 ang pagkarga sa mga family food packs sa multi-role response vessel BRP Teresa Magbanwa na nakadunggo sa Pier 2 kagahapon sa Buntag. Ang 11,000 ka mga food packs nga ilang nakarga nagagikan sa Visayas Disaster Resource Center sa DSWD sa Tingob, Mandawi City. O dadon kini sa Bicol Region aron ipanghatag nga to sa mga pang-igo sa Bagyong Christine. Dugang kini sa unang napadalang 50,500 ka mga food packs sa DSWD na itong Oktobre 23. Kagahapong adlawa, naninguha ang DSWD nga makarepack o 20,000 ka mga family food packs aron ipadala sa uban pang mga nabagyuhan. Sa uban pang mga balita, mabot sa 130 ka mga panimay ang naugdaw sa naitabong sunog na nilanat o tulog ka oras dito sa Sitio Isla Alegre, Barangay Basak sa Nicolas, Dakbayan sa Sugbo kagahapon. Ni Ulbo among sunog alas 12.18 sa tungang gabi. O niyabot kini sa third alarm na kontrolan hinuon kini sa kabumbirohan doon ka oras ang milabay sukad sa pag-ulbo. Hingpit kining napaw ng 
sa mga sakop sa Cebu City Fire Station alas 3.25 na sa Cadlaon. Mukabat nga sa 3 milyones pesos ang gibiling danyos nini. Samtang mabot sa 270 ka mga pamilya ang naapektuhan. Wala ray natalang nakalas sa mga insidente o padayon pang gisuta ang hinungdan sa mga sunog. Giatiman na sa Cebu City Government ang mga nasunugan. Sama na lang sa paghatag o pagkaon o pagproseso sa madawat nilang hinabang pinagi si Department of Social and Welfare Services. Nangapaig ang kapin 46,000 ka mga binuhing bantres. So sa kapultry farm, nganimutang sa Purok Mirna, si Chutuburan Barangay Maslog, Dakbayan sa Danao. Kinihuman nga nasunog, pasado alas 3.30 sa Kadlaon, nantong Adlong Sabado. Niabot kini og second alarm, og milanat nga to sa kapin o sa kaoras, o sa pahingpit nga napaong sa mga sakop sa Danao City Fire Station, o uban pa mga nirresponding fire trucks. Base sa pasiunang investigasyon sa kapulisan, ang nakajuti nga gwardiya ni Butyag nga sa likod sa building nagsugod ang sunog. O usa sa gilantang posibilidad, mao ang kuryente nga gigamit nga blower. Wala ra hinoy natalang naangol o nakalas sa maong insidente. Gibanaban ang mabot sa 101 million pesos ang gibiling danyos sa maong sunog. Magkanto naglangkob sa itong mga palita sa alas 12 sa ngan sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTN News and Current Affairs. Ilabina sa itong news manager nga si Dennis Tabar. Ako si Guillen Navarro. At ang iang atong Sairi 47. Karoon ka ng alas 5 sa hapon. Ang tunda sa alas 6 sa gabi. Musunod na sa Dimadugay ang Santos nga Misa. Nga manukat live sa CCTN Chapel. Daghang salamat, Daigo ng Diyos.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Today we join the whole church in the celebration of the Feast of the Two Apostles of our Lord, Saint Simon and also Saint Jude, or Saint Simon the Zealot and Saint Jude the Theos or Courageous. They were both persecuted and martyred in Persia, where Saint Simon was cut into half and Saint Jude the Theos was uh, beaten and axed to death. And we offer in this Mass for the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries today, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and stream celebration. And we also pray for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill, and praying all the intentions we promise to pray for. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the blessed apostles have brought us to acknowledge your name, 
Grant graciously, through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude, that the Church may constantly grow by increase of the peoples who believe in you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you are no longer strangers and sojourners, but you are fellow citizens with the Holy Ones and members of the household of God, built upon the foundation of the apostles and prophets, with Christ Jesus himself as the capstone. Through him, the whole structure is held together and grows into a temple sacred in the Lord. In him, you also are being built together into a dwelling place of God in the Spirit. The word of the Lord. With you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus went up to the mountain to pray, and he spent the night in prayer to God. When they came, he called his disciples to himself, and from them he chose twelve, whom he also named apostles. Simon, whom he named Peter, and his brother Andrew, James, John, Philip, 
Bartholomew, Matthew, Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Simon, who was called a zealot, and Judas, the son of James, and Judas Iscariot, who became a traitor. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. May I mudo ka natin tinen. Today, two of the twelve apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, whom we are celebrating and commemorating in their honor, Saint Simon and Saint Jude, both were martyred in Persia. And yet, little known, little that we know about these uh, apostles. And yet, Simon, Saint Simon, also called the Zealot, an anti-Roman party, who declared the supremacy of the Jewish law. And when he was called by Jesus and generously submitted himself to him, he learned that it is Jesus, the lawgiver, as the supreme authority of all. St. Jude, um, also called the courageous or the or Thaddeus, was known to be a miracle worker and most especially the saint of the impossible. Even St. Bernard of Clairvaux and St. Bernadette of Sweden were one of the many devotees of St. Jude Thaddeus. And we know that he was axed to death, and both of them devoted, dedicated their lives in martyrdom. However, the calling of the apostles is indeed a very wonderful story. They were not perfect, far from being and ideal persons to be apostles of the Lord. They were human. They were sinners like us. Even during their time in their being apostles or witnesses of the Lord, they continued to display their humanity, such as the story of the son of um, the two brothers of John and James, where they manifested their human desires to sit at the right and at the left of the Lord and a very ambitious feat which is somehow very human. And therefore, we know that they are far from being perfect. And even Thomas who doubted of telling, unless I can put my hands on the nail prints of our Lord, I will not believe. Such is also a very human tendency. To see is to believe. Even Peter or Simon called Peter abandoned the Lord not only once, but he um, denied the Lord three times over. And needless to say, Judas Iscariot, who betrayed the Lord and sold Jesus for 30 pieces of silver, all of them, they displayed their being human, weak and frail. And yet what is in them that the Lord has chosen these 12 apostles? This, we call them apostles. It is because Jesus found the heart that is willing to partake in the journey of the communion with God. They are not persons who are gems after all, but what made them to be apostles is the capacity of their hearts willing to be in communion with the Lord. In today's gospel, before Jesus has appointed the twelve, he was in communion with the Father. We are told about spending time alone in prayer. It's not about he is praying because he is in need of something, but the Lord Jesus prayed because this is how he communes the Father. This is also our way to commune with God, to pray. Dili lang nga magsigita o uh, pangayo diha sa itong pag-ampo. No? Di ta magsalig nga naatay inahan sa kanunayang panabang kay kita masad ang mga anak sa kanunayang pangayo. No? But prayer is more than that. It's all about communion. It's all about to be one. It's all about unity with the God whom we love, the God who calls us, and the God whom we have given our generous, generous response of saying yes. These are the hearts of the apostles. 
This is the kind of heart that Jesus wants us of becoming. Not a perfect one, but more than willing to offer our very hearts to the Lord who calls us and offering our profound yes to the Lord. Amen. Prayers of the faithful. Let us pray that through the intercession of St. Simon and Jude, the church may commit itself to the preaching of the gospel and gather men and women in the household of God. Let our response be, Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. Like the Lord Jesus, who goes to the mountain to pray, may we prepare for the day's activities by praying to God for the graces we need. We pray. Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. May we have the zeal of the Apostle Simon for the gospel of Jesus and go forth with joy as missionary disciples. We pray. Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. May those who in great need invoke the intercession of the Apostle St. Jude, the patron of hopeless cases. We pray. Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. May St. Jude come to the assistance of those who experience great anxiety before examination and replace it with peace, guiding them in their answers. We pray. Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. May the Lord send his consolation to those in sorrow, courage to the faithful, healing to the sick, and help to those in financial straits. We pray. Lord, form us in the faith of the apostles. Almighty God, you have established your church on the apostolic foundation. Through the teaching and example of the apostles, Simon and Jude, may we possess firmness of faith in Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. As we venerate the perpetual glory of the holy apostles, Simon and Jude, O Lord, we ask that you receive our prayers and lead us to worthy celebration of the sacred mysteries. Through Christ our Lord, the Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
Indeed, holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave you thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Jose, Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles, Simon and Jude, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to our apostles, Peace, I live you, my peace I give you, looked not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. May the mingling of this body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ may eternal life to us receive it. May the receiving of this body and blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. 
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen. spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. Having received the sacrament, O Lord, we humbly implore you in the Holy Spirit that what we do to honor the glorious passion of the apostles Simon and Jude may keep us ever in your love. Through Christ our Lord, Amen. the Lord be with you. And, with your spirit. and may Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Adilio and family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.
Discover the beauty of the Philippines. 